Hi, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's, and I'm bringing you another project. Anyone who knows me knows I'm absolutely over the moon for my grandson, and this is his first Valentine's Day. So I'm making, I made him a little onesie to wear, and it was very easy. The hardest part is waiting for everything to dry. And if you want to see how I did this, it's coming up next. What you'll need is some OK to wash it. Two shades of paint. I used Cardinal Crimson and Maroon. white paint, textile medium. I love this stuff. It will turn any acrylic paint into fabric paint. And the colors that are available in acrylic paint is a lot more broad than regular fabric paint. You'll need something to mix the paints. You'll need some flat paint brushes, some cardboard that's just a little bit wider than the onesie, covered in plastic wrap, some grow grain ribbon, and a lighter. And the first thing you want to do is put the pre-washed, no fabric softener t-shirt over the board. Then you want to mix your paint and it says one part medium to two parts paint. I can't exactly say that I measure it. I just kind of eyeball it so that once I put the textile medium in it, it kind of looks like one to two. And it usually works out pretty good. And then you want to mix it until you can't see the medium anymore. And take your time. And I'm just going to do one color at a time. Until I need the next one. I'm using the baby's bib as an inspiration for the tie. And just gently, a little bit at a time, start sketching in your design. After I finished painting in the knot of the tie, I just lightly sketched out where I wanted the rest of the tie to go and just started filling in. This could take two coats, it might take just one. It all depends on how heavy handed you are and how much paint you have on the paintbrush. I like to go light with the paint. And if I go too heavy, it takes forever to dry and it doesn't necessarily come out real smooth. Once I got the tie filled in, I took the flat paintbrush and dipped one corner into the darker shade. And then I just went along the outside of the tie to give it a little definition. It's a little hard to see. But once it dries, it definitely dries a darker color. And 
And I just went along the outside of the tie to give it a little more crispness. And once this was done, I just set it aside to dry before I put lettering on it. Because it's for a boy, and I certainly didn't want white to mix in with the red and turn it pink. Somehow, I don't think his father would really be happy with that. You can see the difference in the colors, but it does show up. And we'll set this aside to dry. I mix the medium in with the white. And started sketching in the letters that I wanted on the little tie. And this is probably going to take two to three coats to get this to really stand out. I'm using just the tiniest bit of paint on the end of the paintbrush. And we'll come back after we have some more coats on it. And here it is after three coats. And I may touch it up with a fourth coat if it needs it. But there's the tie so far. Almost done. And once this is dry, we get started on the little suspenders. Now I use grain ribbon. And when you cut the grow grain, you really got to heat seal it. Because if you don't, this is what happens. And by heat sealing, all you do is take a lighter and go gently over the edges. And you can feel when they're sealed. I just cut two pieces. It'll be long enough, so that it should tuck under his pants. I'm adding a little bit of OK to wash it, just in the top, or one end of the ribbon. And I'm going to tuck that underneath the little cap sleeve. didn't want it out too far and that's why I just did the very tip and then we'll add the okay to wash it all the way down the ribbon press it into place and let it dry and this is how it looks on my little grandson Connor and he's definitely all ready to be the ladies man of Valentine's Day if you like what you see, subscribe. There'll be lots more. Happy creating, everyone.